Adam, we said on uh, Saturday it's been a long week, but you must feel all the much better now for three goals and three points in our last away game of the season there at Alfchurch. Yeah, I must say I really enjoyed that performance tonight. I thought it had everything, hunger, tenacity, um, quality was all there. Um, you know, we probably could have scored a hell, of, hell of a lot more goals, to be fair. But, yeah, I mean, I, after Saturday, I had to laugh at some of the silly comments and everything else. And these boys have gave me absolutely everything. And, and I said to them tonight, they deserve that performance tonight. They deserve that. Um, just to say, we are still here. We are still here. And, um, and we'll... <laughs> And we'll um, carry on to the next one. And um, but uh, yeah, like, like I said, you know they've given me blood, sweat, everything, and um, what it meant tonight, brilliant. As every game that they go into, you know, with every game that we go into, one thing I'll never say is these boys don't give effort, anything. So um, highly delighted for them, uh, first and foremost, because they've got us here, and um, it's made it exciting, hasn't it? It has, and. Um... In terms of when you, you you mentioned a few weeks ago, we've played in a lot of high pressure games. Uh, was it a case of tonight maybe being the most pressured game of the season, if that's the right word to use? Well, we had to win, and we knew that Elver Church were a very good side. You know, like like, like ourselves, they had a great cup run going to the second round, the FA Cup, beat beat Cheltenham. Um, so we knew it's a very difficult place to come. You know, it's um, a difficult difficult playing surface as well. Um, you know, and, and Ian Long's got 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 some really really good players there, and he's you know he's done a great job with Alva Church. So um, we knew we had to be in a metal because there's no gimmies, and, and as you could see, Alva Church are really up for the game. Um, but, but I thought we matched that a work rate endeavour, like like I just said, was was brilliant. I'm just pleased as well for all the fans which have come over tonight. I mean that backing. Tuesday night away at Elver Church. I mean, it's it's another level, and fair play to them. I'm sure come Saturday, we'll we'll probably um, fill the um, fill Owen Street up or Manda Cookshank Stadium. Okay, um, but no, yeah, it, it's good that that we do take it into into the last week of the season, and it's exciting. It's exciting. Look, love every minute of it. You know, if you'd have said start of the season goes into the last game of the season that's what makes football the best game in the in the world and and that's what it is because it has everything bit of drama excitement um, lots of divorces because people get hooked on it um, so yeah brilliant night's work um, can't rest on it on to the next one and whatever happens with Tamworth and Dunedin on Thursday, like you said, it's going to go into the last game, Whether whatever they do on Thursday. Um, I know you know their manager quite well, the, the Tamworth manager, and like you said, it's probably what you're both in this game for. We could be sitting mid-table with nothing to play for, but what an occasion for, for both sides on Saturday going for a title. Yeah, of course it is. Um, you know, Andy, Andy did a fantastic job at Rushton and he's done a fantastic job at, um, at Tamworth as well. Um, so yeah, at the end of the day, the uh, the best team best team wins the league, and um, whatever happens, um, that's how it is. And um, so yeah, so yeah, we're we're all enjoying it. Um, let's get ready to go. We, I'm sure, we'll have a big back in. Um, easily over a thousand plus and again talking of things that excite you from where we've come from struggling to get 200 fans to bring in probably 250 plus here tonight to thinking we're going to be playing at home in front of that back in must what else would you yeah well want? funny enough i'm looking at some of the crowds over the years even in, in the playoff years and i think i think there was about a couple hundred there for playoffs and you know go, going back a few years and um and you analyse it and we brought that today and when we're pulling it at the ground and you see the supporters coach getting off and fans walking down the road it, it shows how far we've come and, it, and it's a credit to um, to Glenn as well you know he, he's built it up gradually again we you know we don't we, we don't shout from the rafters um, and, we, and we and we've done this with a steady process and um, and credit to him because you know he puts a lot of time and effort in and, and deserves deserves the, these moments and uh, been a great if we could cap if we could cap it off um, a great season because I definitely think these boys deserve something you know the results we've had in the cup and how they've played in the league fair play to them but but like I said you know it's. Um, it's uh, another, another, 
another part of a, another page in the chapter come Saturday.